All right, good evening and welcome to Master Talker Online class. We are still in our video on solving uh, math workbook, right? So if today is your first day of watching our video, please click that subscribe button, please. Just click on it, right? So that anytime we drop a video, YouTube will notify you, right? And please like this video and comment so that it will get viral. Because the more you like, the more YouTube pushes it to other people. Okay, so the first question here said, question number 31 said, what, what is the number, what is the number of proper subsets, proper subsets of the set 1, 2, 3. All right, solution. Now, the first thing you get is the cardinality of the set. So I can say that let set a be equal to that one two and three so the cardinality of set a is equal to what three there are three in number one two three that's the cardinality now the power of a power of a means two raised to power n that is the number of the subset they have which is what two raised to power three and two raised to power three will give you eight so this is the number of the subsets this set can have then for the proper subset is simply then the proper the proper subset is equal to what that power of a then minus one which is what eight minus one which is just seven okay so seven is the number of proper subsets of that set so we move to the next question question number 32 question number 32 question number 32 said what what is x minus y cross y minus z you now say given given that x is equal to the set of one two three and then y is equal to the set of two three and five then z is equal to the set of two and five all right first of all we need x minus y x minus y simply means uh Anything that is in X that is not in Y. So, 1 is in X and it is not in Y. So, I pick 1. 2 is here, 2 is here, 3 is here, 2 is here. So, the only thing here is this. So, the next thing we need is um, um, Y minus Z. Y minus Z is simply anything that is in Y that is not in Z. Um, 3 is here, but 3 is not here. So, 3. Okay? Then... Then you now say x minus y cross y minus z is simply the set of, let me say, hmm, set of, just pick an element from the first one, combine it with the second one. That is element of 1, 3. Very simple. So that is that for that. We move to question number 33. Question number 33. Question number 33 said um, that H is equal to the set of X such that X is an odd integer divisible, divisible by 2. Then the last say list, list the members of, of the set. Is the members of the set of the set H solution now H is equal to they say that H is equal to a set of an odd integer that is divisible by two. There is no odd integer that is divisible by two, every odd number is not divisible by two. So, an empty set is the answer to that question. So, H is just an empty set. Okay, so we move to the next question, question number 34. Question number 34, which says that what? If P is equal to the set of A, B, C, D, and E, then I say then, then find the cardinality of P. Okay? So cardinality of P simply means the number of elements in that P. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are simply five elements. So we move to question number 35. Question number 35. Question number 35 said, write, write X such that 
x is an integer integer and and minus 3 is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to what 7 in roast in roaster in roaster form okay so solution so solution roaster form simply means to list the element and they say that is from minus 3 to 7 so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is roster form so that's the answer to that question number 36 question number 36 said hmm, you permit me to write it in. so question number 36 question number 36 said in a group in a group of 115 travelers comma some some like traveling by road comma some like traveling by road comma some some traveling by air and some some like traveling by by both both ways then i say if 65 like traveling by road comma and 30 like traveling by by both by both ways okay then then i say how many how many like traveling by air only and not by road solution okay this is a very simple question uh first of all let us draw the Venn diagram to draw the Venn diagram, I'm having this. This is my road, my by road, and this is by air. So, let me refuse, sorry. Somebody is distracting me here. <laughs> she has gone that's my wife okay so the next one uh, so now let's go now anytime you are drawing venn diagram you should start from the inside and move outside then be conscious of where they say only if you if you do not see only you must subtract so they say that 30 light traveling by boat so 30 will stay here 30 by boat now another thing let's go to one one 65 light traveling by road so it will now be 65 minus 30 because I did not see only. I will say 65 minus 30 here, which will give you 35. So 35, light traveling by road only. Okay. So let's say, uh, let the number of people that, that travel by air only be X. Okay. So how many people does not travel at? Okay. None. So we will now add everything and equate it to that number there. I will now say that, um, so I will now say that what? Um, 35 plus 30 plus x is equal to that 115 so what do i have 35 plus 30 will give you 65 so 65 plus x is equal to 115 so x is simply 115 minus 65 so what do you have x is equal to what 115 minus 65 so i have 50 so 50 people like traveling by air only 
so this side is only but if you want to get the people that travel by air that without putting only so it is what 50 plus 30 which is what 80. so we we'll move to question number 37. So question number 37, number 37 said, in a survey of 20 students in a class, comma, 10 like light maths, comma, 15 light chemistry. Chemistry, seven light both subjects. Okay, number one said create a Venn diagram to show to show this information. Number two, okay, I I I said, how many, how many students like math or chemistry? Okay. I, I, I. How many? How many, how many students like chemistry but not math? IV, how many didn't like either? Okay? So the first thing we do is to draw the Venn diagram. So to draw the Venn diagram, I have this. This is my, my maths and this is my chemistry. I told you, you must start from the center. So let's look for people that like both, seven like both. So I have seven here. So then I say that 10 like maths, I did not see only. So I'll say 10 minus seven. So here is just three, okay? Then I said 10, uh, sorry, 15 like chemistry. I did not see only. I'll say 15 minus 7, which is, uh, I think, is 8, right? Hmm. Me and subtraction 15 minus 7 is 8, okay? So now we don't have the number of people that did not like anyone at all. So let it be x here. So let us now add everything here and equate it to that 115, okay? Sorry, that 20 students. So I'll say 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus x is equal to what 20 so therefore that is 18 plus x is equal to 20 so my x is equal to what 20 minus 18 so my x is equal to 2 so i have that 2 here so this is my venn diagram you can decide to redraw the venn diagram if you redraw the venn diagram let me just redraw it here if you redraw the venn diagram you are, you'll be having uh, this is math and chemistry so here is 7, here is 8, here is 3, and here is 2. So let's now start answering the second question. The second question says, how many students like math or chemistry? Math or chemistry, I don't see only. So it's just everything inside this place. This is math or chemistry. So which is what? Uh, that is 3 plus 7 plus 8, which is what? 18 students. So I, I, I. I, I, I said, how many that like a chemistry but not mass so chemistry but not mass is only this side which is math only which is three right then ivy said how many did not like either i've got it as two that is the one outside there so that is what two very very simple we move to the next question question number 37 <laughs> 